All right. Well, welcome everyone to Everything Central Coast. Thank you for joining me again today. I am super excited to be here with David Morneau. Hi. And tell me, it's a, it's a little bit of a long name, so I'm going to let you go ahead and introduce where we're at. But if you're not a local and you see this space, then you absolutely have to watch this through to the end because this place is amazing. So. Well, welcome to Vespera Resort on Pismo Beach. Um, we like to call it the shining star of the Central Coast. This is really, our our goal is to become the community's resort. And we really want the residents of Pismo and neighboring communities to always feel welcome uh, to come on our property. You don't have to be a hotel guest to come and Good enjoy. Good to know. So, yeah, and look, I mean, locals are welcome. We want um, everyone to come in and experience the service and the hospitality that we put on for, um, for our hotel guests as well. Um, the property, you know, it's, it's stunning. Like we're located right Absolutely. on the beach. Best views, uh, best location. Connected the beach to the is boardwalk. literally right, yeah. right there. I mean, the pier, and it's important that you mention that this is open to the public because people that are walking around along the boardwalk, as you can see, people are just kind of like filtering in and you make it very welcoming that mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. What's new to me, you guys have this little brec breakfast do, coffee yes. cart right outside the doors here, well, which one, is awesome also. And it's a way to kind of welcome people and let people know that you're here and open. Absolutely. So one of our goals when, um, when I joined the hotel about 14 months ago was how do we open up the space? How do we activate it? And how do we create a name for ourselves and make people aware that we have the space? And uh, we came up with the idea of the coffee cart as a way to just draw people's eyes right. as they're walking down the border. Like, wait, what are you serving right. there? And, um, you know, our culinary team has come up with these amazing breakfast burritos that we serve from there. All the coffee. Love a breakfast yeah. burrito. <laughs> they're, they're, they're filling. It's, I dare you to try to finish one in uh, one sitting. You're it's, gonna it's dare probably, me. You know, I'll I'll I you. love I'll burritos. We love burritos. <laughs> so Chef Frank's uh, breakfast burritos, he took them from the restaurant and now he's doing them on the coffee cart. And they've been a very successful food option for us. Yeah. Um, so it's just fun. Our, our whole goal though, and with the coffee cart and a lot of our other um, activations is to bring in the local and to bring the charm of like Pismo Beach and the Central Coast to our guests. So Vespera here cares about our locals, which we is we something do. we love and we wanna hear. And I know you've been a big part in the community and, mm -hmm. and part of being here today um, is to talk a little bit about the fact that you guys um, received the award for large business of the we year did. from the Pismo Beach Chamber yeah. of Commerce. And it, it's things like that where you engage with the community and you open your doors mm -hmm. to the locals. Um, because in some cases, you know, as well as I do, that the yeah. locals kind of feel like, you know, especially during the summer, a lot of this is catering to, you know, the tourists. Was, yeah, tourists. And, and we're good with both, but we still, you know, we yeah. want to get some special treatment if we can. And one of the other Absolutely. cool things Speaking of special treatment, you guys offer a locals discount. We, we do. We don't. Well, there's no restriction on it. Um, uh, you can come in and dine with us. We have a 15% locals discount that's available all year long. Awesome. Great um, to know. And Great to know. When you come in and dine, just let the server know. You just have to show your ID that you live in okay. uh, the county, and we um, we're happy to extend that because we want people to come Absolutely. in and, and, dine and then with we'll us. share with friends and we'll bring the party. Absolutely. I just brought my party here. So, yeah. and you guys did a great job. I had oh, my birthday you. party hosted. And speaking of this beautiful lawn that they have mm -hmm. here, um, this is open to the public. It is, it is, yes. And the hours are from 12 to seven or eight o'clock, depending on you yeah. know what you got going on here. Um, but I was able to have my birthday party here, mm -hmm. which was super fantastic. And everybody really loved the service, mm -hmm. loved the food with the new restaurant. And we'll talk a little bit more about that with the chef shortly. Absolutely. Um, but this is also available for people to come and do, I guess, parties or private it is. events. And so we, this is a very versatile space for us. You know, we spent um, just over a half million dollars this year on improving the space nice. and making it more inviting for guests. Cause we want people to come sit and join and have and hang out. a great experience right? um, at the resort. Um, all the furniture is brand new. We have more that's coming uh, that'll be over the next couple months. Great. We're really redesigning the space to create more seating, create more activation. You've, you've done a great job since you've been here. I well, mean, I have you. to yeah. really congratulate you because you immediately came in, you started making changes, mm -hmm. um, all good changes, of course, changes that we, the locals, have noticed and Thank appreciate. You. And yeah. so, um, so great job on that. 
Um, clearly the fire tables, it gets a little chilly here at it night. Does, it does. Um, it's overcast and you'd think it's cold here today, but it's actually pretty warm. It is pretty warm it's today, yeah. It's very nice today. Any um, day above 70 is warm. And yeah, no kidding, so. right? We're spoiled brats over here. <laughs> and we love it, but we definitely pay the price. Um, but you have amazing places like this to come and enjoy and hang out and dine. Mm -hmm. um, you guys have fire tables out here, like I was just saying. So on the nights that it gets a little bit chilly, you can just bring some friends. So you can just come anytime, hang out, have a glass of wine, Correct. maybe have some appetizers. Your tacos are spot on, by the they way. Are. I had those at my I birthday eat party. Many of them, so it's and the ceviche, I have yet to try. I heard yeah. rave reviews about that. We, you know, the ceviche is is, is fun. It's playful. Like I, what I'll say about Chef Frank is like my favorite ceviche is actually the dragon fruit ceviche, and it's a vegan, vegetarian friendly dish. And it's it, it's you would never expect it. Right, and um, people assume that ceviche has to have seafood in it, but it doesn't. It's just a method of cooking um, with citrus. But Chef's really gotten creative with it, and it's it's been very popular. And he's great. And yeah. he he actually won Top Chef at Taste of Pismo we, in 2021. Did. So we've been doing our wine dinners once a month, and we've had some great partnerships with some of the local wineries. We've learned a lot from the process. Okay. But now we're going to start expanding that to tequila dinners and local brewery dinners. Great. And just really. Um, so things we can all look yeah, forward to. Yeah, not every guest wants to come to a wine dinner, but you know, I think everyone will come to a tequila dinner. Thing. Yeah, and the holidays are around the corner, so yeah, no absolutely. better time, right? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So again, making so many positive changes mm -hmm. here. You're doing a, a fabulous job, and I'm excited to find out more from, from the chef about the restaurant and yeah. what changes have happened there as far as the menu and whatnot, mm -hmm. um, and get into a little bit more of that. So um, needless to say, I'm getting hungry. Yeah. I think it's time to get to the kitchen. Absolutely. Thank you so Thank much. You, Valerie. Thank Appreciate you. It. All right, so now for my favorite part. Not that David wasn't my favorite part, <laughs> but food is definitely everyone's favorite part. And I am here with executive chef, Chef Frank. Hello. Thank you so much. This food looks amazing and I'll try not to dig in while we're sitting here having a quick conversation. But um, so Pekin Coastal Cocina, mm -hmm. that is the new rebranded restaurant here. Sure. And you guys just started that officially how long ago? Uh, it was just the beginning of May, I want to say. The beginning of May. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And clearly you had a lot of influence on this. And I believe the name even comes from you, yourself, right? You yeah. want to tell us a little bit about that backstory? Yeah, we eventually came across or fell upon um, Baja Coastal. Nice. Um, uh, originally, I grew up in San Diego, which is my home, um, which is uh, literally right, right there, right? Right next door. So right next door. <laughs> so we ended, yeah, so I kind of, and I, having grown up there and having visited Baja quite a bit, I, I saw a lot of similarities between the Valle de Guadalupe, the wine country in Baja, and the, the wine country here nice. on the central coast. Okay, um, so you had both so, dynamics. Both exactly, yep. similar okay. climate. Um, it's just like you're naming a baby, right? Yep. You, have, you a list, have a whole list, you, you gotta start list. somewhere, and you they gotta, gotta narrow it down. And you narrow it down. Yep. Um, and so, uh, and the, the name just kind of rolled off the tongue. Yep. It was quick, it's fun to say. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of how. And it, then you had the coastal. You had the coastal. Have the beach, we're right on the beach, right? Cocina, because uh, we're Cocina, in the kitchen. Yeah, on Pismo Beach, yeah. I mean, specifically, right? Very cool. Yeah, because we wanted to actually, um, uh, we still wanted to kind of connect the, the Pismo specifically. Right, right. right. Uh, I'm, you know, the same thing with the hotel. We, right, we on, Pismo 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 beach, yeah. on Pismo Beach. Yep. Right, and we okay. kind of wanted to do the same thing with the restaurant. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And so, and this flair, and it's a very unique style, uh, and, and I know in trying some of your some of your food before mm -hmm. that you have a unique style to what you do and you take pride in your work Absolutely. clearly i mean it's it's amazing it's it's just as good as it looks because of course presentation is always a nice right. thing also um so tell us a little bit about because i know there's a backstory as far as um, where you were before here mm -hmm. and how long you've been a chef right. and the passion you have behind these kinds of dishes well, and like how you come up with these. We start with, I, we start with um, what we like to eat. Right. And having grown up again in San Diego and being right. near Baja, the, this is the type of food that we love to eat. Um, but uh, there's a lot of Mexican restaurants, right? There's a lot of places oh, yeah. out there. Oh yeah. Uh, and there's and there's a lot of- I would say not so much in, in this immediate right. area though. Right. You know, yeah, that's- we're I mean, Hispanic, Mexican and like right. finding the good traditional quality. Stuff. Yes. yes, the traditional yes. stuff, yes. 
And uh, but um, and because of that, uh, I think there's a lot of things that people are not familiar with. Right. There's what they are familiar with. People are familiar with ceviche. Yes. People are familiar with tacos. Yes. Right. Um, but, but not, not like these. this, man. Right. You, and, you yeah, do and it so up. The idea, the idea was to actually start to create something that was familiar to somebody, so they see ceviche, right. right, and they think, okay, I know what that is, exactly. and then go dragon fruit. Right? But yeah, this is so. This is dragon fruit. This is a right. veggie style. Yes, it's a be, it's vegan. Vegan. Yeah. Vegan style. Vegan. Um, and so tell us what's in there. Yeah, so the, here we've got uh, cucumber, mango, red onion, and um, and Fresno chili. Again, flavors that you find in ceviches quite right. a bit. So the, the traditional ceviches that we're kind of used to are literally just lime juice and maybe a right. jalapeno in there, um, which is delicious. It, it does its job. It, 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 you just take it to a whole we different make it level. More complex, right? I, it, we want to give it, it a lot of flavors. Like love it. specifically, um, the dragon fruit here is more of a textural element. If you've had dragon fruit, it has a flavor, but it's not overpowering. overpowering. It's right, very right, mild. Right. Just like a mild white fish would be in ceviche. Yes. And it becomes all about texture and those citrus flavors. And here we incorporate uh, turmeric and ginger and some other aromatics into nice. the marinade, which give it a little complexity. Super then, excited to taste that. Right. And Super then um, and then we wanted to do something different with the tacos. So here we've got your traditional kind of um, pollo salo, uh, which is, has a like an achote type base uh, marinade. But um, we what well, we wanted to kind of change it up a little bit is one, we're using a 100% a natural tortilla. And, um, and here um, we've used, like everyone's familiar with like the green tomatillo sauce. Right, um, which I love. Yes, uh, some people aren't aware though that tomatillos are not tomatoes, they're gooseberries. Um, you know, tomatoes have a husk. I mean, tomatoes don't have a husk, excuse me. Right, so if you let the tomato, the, the tomatillo uh, ripen, right. it turns into a yellow gooseberry, like a giant gooseberry. So here we okay. actually, instead of using the, um, the, the kind of sour tomatillo we right. use a sweeter gooseberry. Okay. And that plays very Now well it makes with, sense because earlier right. uh, he, he mentioned that it was a gooseberry salsa. Yes. And I'm like, what yeah. is and gooseberry it, and, and, and salsa? And it's made, exact, it's made with the Amazing. exact same recipe you would use a tomatillo with. Right. But we swapped the tomatillo for a gooseberry just to give it a sweeter element. Which and, is the same thing, but right. not. But not. Right. Yes, it just, it's okay. just slightly sweeter. Interesting. And, and then, um, so because of the, there's a lot of citrus in the, um, in the chicken, uh -huh. in the marinade in the chicken, right. you want to counteract that with something. Offset it, and okay. So, yeah, offset it a little bit. Okay. Exactly. And also on top of this is another salsa, which is made from guava. Uh, and, and again, that is so good. Yeah. I, so I, I I had my birthday here, as I mentioned yeah. earlier. And so this was the first thing, I love chicken tacos. like. Right. And so I, I had your tacos and that sauce is phenomenal. Right, thank you. I thank mean, you. the flavors that come out of your food are just spot on. Wonderful, thank you. Like the, the, I credit a lot of that to the team. I mean, I give them the instructions and they knock it out of the park. It, it's yeah, it's, so important. It's I'm so all important. about flavor. All right. about I think you know coming from that background again. Right. It's like you know. And again, this is your typical kind of like the salsa you would find in a taco shop, except we switch the tomato for a guava. Right. So tell me about a couple of other popular dishes here that that are a must try. So if somebody's coming in and they're just gonna be here for the day. Like what, what are those um, must try dishes? Uh, our, our sea bass that we, we uh, sous vide okay. in a uh, banana leaf. Oh my goodness. So it's wrapped in a banana leaf, it's cooked perfectly. Um, very soft, tender, flaky. And then it's yeah. simply opened up and it has a mango slot. It goes to mango. Oh my goodness. And, um, and we reduce, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, coconut milk with jalapeno. And that's the sauce that goes over it, and it's uh, paired with the skeetas. That sounds delicious. Who knows what um, street corn oh, is. Oh, wow. Oh, absolutely. Right? So everyone knows alote. Oh, right? yeah. Right? So esquitas is just alote off the top. Uh, there isn't any butter, flour, and anything on my menu. Um, it is all... You hear that, Mom? Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> I'm it's like, you hear that, used... Mom? It can happen. It can happen. It can happen. Can happen. So it has a health element. It has too, a health so. element. And like traditionally, when we want to thicken something, we use a seed, we use bread, we use the tortilla. Right. Right. And that's how we fit. Like we have four or five different molars, and they're all thickened either with some kind of vegetable. Our vegetable molars are just pureed vegetables. This that is are, great. Right. So uh, um, we're going to bring a chowder back. People are excited. You know, we're. Are you? Yeah. So at okay. the cook off, we're going to debut it. Oh. And it'll eventually come back. Good. No, okay. Um, and it is thickened. Uh, it's not thickened with. Um, uh, it's not thickened with flour or with a roux either. So it's no. gonna be really interesting. Um, and we, it's gonna. And be he's fun. not telling. I'm not telling. I'm like, he's like I'm not telling. telling <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. And it's not thickened, and it's fun because it's going to be. 
Uh, so our kind of spin on it is going to be that rather than um, uh, put potatoes in it, which uh -huh. used to, uh, yeah, right. chowder, we're using hominy. So it's almost like creamy pozole. Wow. Right? So it's like creamy clam pozole. Wow. Um, um, You're, we're totally making a connection with yeah. With me, because right. I get I get all this. Like this is what yeah, we grow up on, but it, with a right. with a different flair, of course. Sure. Yeah. So. Yeah. And and um, food, uh, regardless of of where it comes from, is regional, right? right? I mean, all these recipes. These when we talk about age old recipes right. that, that grandma and great grandma handed down, exactly. They didn't have a lot of. They didn't have refrigeration, right? right. Or, or they had to do with what was around them. Exactly. And so that's how those. That's how. That's those how recipes, they remain. That's right. how they remain. Right. Um, and so, um, You're able to a, a really... taco, a, like, I'm from San Diego, yeah. right? But this is a Pismo taco. Right. This is a Central Pismo Coast taco. Pismo taco, yeah, this baby. Is a, this is a Central, Central Coast, Coast taco. Because it's, it, I mean, it, the elements and the flavor profiles of what people are looking this for. Is what's here. Or what's this here. Is what's here in yeah, our region. You know, it sounds cliche, but it's my dream, having grown up in Southern California, to uh, to introduce people to what I like to eat when I was right. uh, growing up and when I was a child on the streets of Tijuana. In San Diego, San Diego and around there, and even and nobody's doing Sunday. it like this here. Right, nobody's doing it like this. Right. And then so. we put the Pismo twist on it, right, right. so that it's uh, we can again approachable but different Very and awesome. unique to the area. And so the cocktails, and I know those are still being put together, mm -hmm. and you know you guys have you guys have done this, and then the cocktails coming, I believe, are going to be a great pairing. Yeah, um, to your food, we have, a, we have a base of like four or five. Okay. Currently, that we just put on, and they're phenomenal. And again, it's similar concept. Separate. Right. You know what they are. It's it, it's a it's a adding margarita. that extra it's flair. It's a margarita. It's a um, uh, michelada. <laughs> it just has that Pekin Pismo spin on it. I love it. That's what's a little bit. So they're all a little bit different. I love it. Um, I want to thank you for taking the time today. You've done a great job. Um, I would just encourage everybody to come out and try Pekin Coastal Cocina. I mean, Chef Frank, you're usually, I, I see you a lot of the time yeah, here. Yeah, I'm here all the time. Yeah, and you have your signature glasses, which mm -hmm. you always have. I don't know yeah. that you change colors, do you? Uh, sometimes. Occasionally, yeah. but yeah, I, I always recognize you yeah. because of the glasses. <laughs> the glasses. From afar. Yeah, the glasses um, and the hat. And so say hi, you yeah. know, yeah, I mean, um, you guys are so friendly with the community and you know I was just mentioning how you guys were awarded by the Pismo Chamber of Commerce small you know the large business of the year yeah. last year you you won the top chef competition right. um, and so they're just involved and we love that you're involved you know the locals really appreciate yeah. that and and again I can't yeah. even express how thankful we are that we have people like you here that can create this whole experience and like take the time to do what you guys have done, and I'm looking forward to the the yeah, extension uh, of the bar menu right. also, because that's, yes, that's, that's going to be, be exciting. Fun. Absolutely. They might have something coming on Tuesdays. More to come. Yeah. <laughs> right? Wink, wink. <laughs> wink, wink, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's our pleasure. And you know, I'm sure David probably mentioned we, and we want to become the community's resort. Right? Yes. The community's beach house. The community's um, beach, beach house. house. I love right? it. Yeah, Don't yeah. tell us because we'll we'll set yeah. up our tents out there right. and we're we're not gonna go anywhere. Right. Well we camp out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is um, great. Yeah, well it's a beautiful space to do it. It is. So. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Well thank you again. Thank really you. appreciate everything yeah. you do. And I know you will be seeing me back here again very soon. Fantastic. So, we're, all right. Can't wait to have you. Thank you. Thank you. And a big thank you to our sponsors, Harry's Nightclub and Beach Bar. The Pismo Beach Hotel, Simon Mercado Photography, and Cool Cat Cafe. Produced by Noble Productions.